Hello survivors, welcome back to another video. How are you today? Guys, let me know in the comments. New scenario, new segment here. We are gonna create a new segment in the channel, guys. And before starting this segment, I just wanna make clear that my opinions are my opinions. We might differ. I'm gonna be reviewing some games, and if you disagree with me and you find that game wonderful, okay, you are good. It doesn't matter if I find it boring or if I find it wonderful and you find it super boring. We can all be cool, okay? You don't have to get mad at me. I don't have to get mad at you. So today we are going to be reviewing Among Us because I saw this game for the first time in the YouTube channel of Backman. If you have been here for a long time, you know who Backman is. He was a player for State of Survival and he quit. Uh, and yeah, I didn't even watch the videos, I just saw the title of the game and the, the thumbnail of the game. And you know, I was thinking about doing a new segment in the channel, and I saw the top 10 of top 20 mobile like, video games in Wikipedia, and Among Us was one of those. So I said, you know what, we are going to react to one of these like, video games, like Raw Reaction, my first time playing it was actually today. I'm gonna give you my raw feelings or my raw opinions about the game. One more time, if you disagree, you disagree. If you agree, you agree. You don't have to get mad, okay? It's my opinion. The other thing is like, if you find this completely different, boring, or if you really like it, let me know in the comments because remember, I post what you want me to post. If you don't find this good, then, or most of you don't find this good content, then I stop doing it. But if you actually like it, I can just review new games, you know, mobile video games. I'm only gonna review mobile video games. I'm not gonna get into my computer and do a lot of stuff. But in the telephone, I can do a lot of stuff. So yeah, if you have another video game and you want me to react to that, let me know. But well, we are gonna get into the game Among Us. You can play it online, you can play it with your friends. It's basically like a bunch of people or a bunch of like characters here that they created in a spaceship and you have tasks to do and you have, depends on how many imposters you create, you can have one, two or three imposters and the task of the imposter is just to sabotage the task that you are doing as a scientist, cabin crew or as a worker in the spaceship or to kill people and of course the, 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 the joke of the game is that you have to find who the killer is or who the imposter is and if you find it you win, if you don't find it then you lose. So yeah, when I first played this game today, to be honest, my first reaction was that the graphics were super good, you know, the characters, they were super funny, it is super colorful, blah blah blah, super nice, but when I got into the game, to be honest, my opinion, and we're gonna do it here, First of all, you can play it super quick. You don't have to create like a super account. You can play it without an account. You can play it with an account. I didn't create an account. And I think the only difference between creating and not creating an account is the chat. Because if you don't create an account, then you have a pre-determined text, text that you can only send, which is uh, the automatic text that they put here in the game. But if you create an account to make sure that you are over 18, you can type whatever you want. So uh, you can also play with people who can type whatever you want or whatever they want, sorry. But if you don't create it, then you are only gonna play with people who can just use the predetermined chat. So that's the only thing. I didn't create an account. And then you have the opportunity to create the, the game to, or, or to create one of the, the server where you're gonna be playing and you can choose the type of chat that you wanna choose in my case it's quick chat only because I don't have an account and you can choose the number of imposter if it's 2, 3 or 5 the max number of people is 15 and if you don't have like uh, many friends like me hoo, 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 that I don't have so many friends they can use the uh, just go public and you're gonna find these public servers here and you can just join to these public servers now as you can see here once you, you join the creator of the server uh, can just wait for more people or it, it can just start, the, start the, the, the game, you know, and then you start playing. Here, you are just waiting for more people or for the people to start the server. While you are doing that, you can go here to the dressing clo closet, let's say, and you can choose, you know, your pants, which I find it funny. I find this like animation super colorful, super nice. And then you wait for the people to start the game because sometimes they wait for the 15 people or sometimes they don't. 
or if it takes too long then you can come here and just leave the game and go back and enter another server for example here uh, it was full but let's try to do let's say this one this one might be about to start now once you start you enter in the spaceship and here is when I comes my personal opinion about the game I find the game super boring to be honest there's nothing else to do but just to try to guess who the imposter is and the guessing of the imposter is like a pain in the ass so here when you're about to start the computer tells you who role what your role is for example here I'm a crew mate I have some tasks you have the map here and you can see okay if you have to go to the cafeteria to the upper engine to security there are different roles here and everybody have different tasks for example i got killed here as you can see <laughs> now i become a god a ghost that uh, you know can just go around usually i will be able to go around to cross the walls to see what's going on and see in real time if somebody's getting killed if somebody's sabotaging the task but here is where the, um, the annoying thing about the game comes. Every, every time they find a dead body, they call a meeting to vote. As you can see here, you have to vote who might be the imposter, and then it takes one minute, two minutes to renew the game. And then if you find another dead body, it's another voting process. And you don't only have the dead body thing, but if nobody finds a dead body, some random person which is playing here can call an emergency meeting and then it's another voting process again. And if you don't find imposter, you renew the game playing normal till somebody else gets killed, till somebody else sees someone sabotaging the task and then go call an emergency meeting and then you spend more time here in the voting process than actually playing the game. So it's a pain in the ass because not only that, but people can leave the game in the middle of the of the game, you know? Somebody can leave, then instead of 10 people, 9 people are playing, 8 people are playing, you don't know the people you are playing with, and the communication in the chat is just like uh, non-insisting, unless maybe it might be different if you are playing here, for example, with the open chat. But to be honest, if I play this game uh, one hour, there is nothing else the game has to offer. I guess for people who does, don't have so many friends like me, <laughs> the game is super boring because if you were like with 15 friends in a Discord channel, in the voice chat, and everybody was just making fun, and everybody was like, ooh, somebody got killed, blah, 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 it might be super fun because this process voting, uh, this voting process waiting might be a little bit more like, you know, relaxed. But if you're alone at home, waiting one minute for people to vote and then play five seconds somebody calls an emergency meeting you have to wait another one minute somebody finds a dead body you have to wait another two minutes it's boring as hell and the task that you are doing is always the same there is nothing exciting about the task the only thing that i find excited about the game is actually when you are the imposter and an imposter one and you are trying to keep people without nobody noticing so as you can see here i'm a ghost here i can go across the wall i can just see for example uh, if somebody's getting killed blah 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 and then if i saw someone i can call an emergency meeting but it's just boring you can only just see the people and they're doing their tasks but just puppets going going around uh, and there's nothing excited. The only thing excited, as I told you, is like, you see somebody come an emergency meeting. Now it's two minutes voting. Voting. This is super, super annoying. The only excited thing that I was saying is like, if you're the imposter and you have to kill someone without nobody else noticing, he might be a little bit excited. If you are trying to hide or trying to, you know, uh, complete your, your killing without nobody noticing that you're winning, it might be a little bit excited. If you are being chased by someone and you think like that person is gonna kill you, you might run and you might get a little bit excited. But for the rest, this is the game here. Two minutes for the voting process. And then you seriously spend, and if you don't find the imposter, it's all a game. You find a dead body, another meeting. So what I do most of the time, because I find it boring, is just leave the game. Leave the game, enter another server, till I'm at the imposter, and then I might be a good idea to play, might be a good play. 
but sometimes people leave the game and you are just with two people you kill one and the other one knows who you are so it's just super annoying the other thing is like if you leave the game so many times there is a cooldown period so you cannot just leave and enter leave and enter if you do it multiple times then you get four minutes cooldown ten minutes cooldown because it's like sort of like a punishment for you trying to leave the game and sabotaging other people's experience so my review it's just like I don't know, 2 out of 10, 3 out of 10, good graphics, good characters, good idea in general. If you are having fun with your friends one more time and you are in a voice chat and you are just like trying to hide, oh, somebody got killed, oh, maybe this, oh, what do you think? It might create a lot of conversations, might create a lot of fun, but for a person in their house, like in their home, uh, or in just like without friends and stuff. Um, I'm talking about someone right now. <laughs> I don't find it exciting. I find a state of survival million times exciting because you can chat with people, you have strategy, you have different events, you have war, you can attack, you can have troops, boom, boom, fire, you can just upgrade things, you can do different events. The events are recycled, and we know about that, but at least you are fighting a different alliance in a state of a, a virtual state, you are fighting a different alliance, reservoir raid, you are a little bit stronger every time. There is something different uh, amongst the monotony of the, the events, there is something different all the time. Uh, it might be a little bit like more exciting than this. This is just the same thing every time. So yeah, that go, that's called my review. One more time, you disagree? You disagree? If you don't disagree, well, welcome to my world. We have the same opinion. But if you find it super fun, guys, the best video game ever, don't come here with the comments like, oh, you don't know, blah, blah, blah. It's my opinion, okay? <laughs> uh, and yeah, we're just gonna cut the video here, guys. If you enjoy this content, let me know. Comment your suggestions in the comments and I hope you enjoy. See you next time.